This is a very brief overview of an article entitled Platform Ecosystems as Meta Organizations Implications for Platform Strategies by Tobias Kretschmer, Aya Lepinen, Melissa Schilling, and Gernita Vasudova. Many of the most exciting sectors of the economy today are organized as platform ecosystems. In a platform ecosystem, a platform mediates the relationship between a group of end users and a group of third party complements providers. A platform ecosystem is thus on the spectrum between hierarchical organization and markets. In a platform ecosystem, the complements providers are not owned by the platform, but they're bound into co-specialization contracts that are longer term and stickier than typical market contracts. A platform ecosystem is thus an organization of organizations. It's a meta organization. There are several organizational design features that differentiate platform ecosystems from traditional organizations. Three of the most important are the sources of authority, the nature of incentives, and the nature of governance. Whereas a traditional organization derives much of its authority from ownership over the assets, a platform ecosystem derives its authority from controlling the technology architecture, providing coordination among complementers, and regulating participation. Rather than using employment contracts to shape behavior, the platform ecosystem provides high-powered incentives for complementers by enabling them to share in the profits. It also lets the complementers enjoy considerable autonomy, which is an incentive in and of itself. The platform provides governance in the ecosystem by controlling who can enter, setting the rules and norms, orchestrating behavior in the ecosystem to create value, and influencing how value is captured and by whom. Next, the paper looks at how platform ecosystems use those organizational features to engage in competition at three different levels. First, new platform entry into a field of incumbents. Second, competition between platforms. And third, competition within the platform. A great example of how a new platform can enter and compete with incumbents is provided by Airbnb. Airbnb entered the hotel industry, which was characterized by really well-known, powerful incumbents, and managed to rise to an incredible position with a very different business model. Competition between platforms refers to the battle for dominance that can ensue when you have multiple platforms in an industry, such as the battle between Uber versus Lyft, iOS versus Android, or Xbox versus PlayStation. Competition within the platform refers to the degree to which different complementers are competing for attention, users, and profits. Now that you have three different levels of competition and three different organizational dimensions, you can start to examine how platform ecosystems use these organizational features to compete at the different levels. For example, Garud Kumaraswamy, Roberts, and Tsu describe how Uber used permissionless entry to enter ride hailing. Uber faced opposition by existing taxi and livery services when it entered ride hailing. It had to use a variety of partnering and legal strategies to gain legitimacy in its market environment. Then to compete against other platforms like Lyft and Juno, Uber used incentives like subsidies to attract and retain drivers. Then within its platform, Uber has a tiered points program to allocate rewards to its best drivers. For more information, you can read the paper, it's open access, or reach out to one of the authors via their email addresses listed at the bottom of this slide. Thanks for watching.